Dennis Schultz, 250 North Jacob Miller Road, Fort Townsend. I want to talk a little bit about the proposed in-stream flow rule for Wire 17. As you know, the public comment period ended last Friday, but I'm sure that they will listen to you if you speak up. Mr. Morley sent an excellent letter about concerns. The big concerns are, one, is they have not complied with your resolution of 6805, and I think you should demand that they do that. Particularly, there's several points in there that need to be resolved. The other thing is the rule they proposed has a lot of holes in it. They talk about, well, we might make water available for agriculture and the Quimper Peninsula or some of the other watersheds. They don't outline how that will be made available, the procedures or the timelines. If the people in those watersheds want water for agriculture and they have to apply for a water right, you're looking at a 10 to 20 year cycle to get a water right approved. There are other holes in that, very a number of unresolved issues in that thing that they have not detailed how things will work. If they pass the law as it is now, then you will be required to pass a memorandum of understanding to accept the details of that law. If you don't, we'll have a moratorium on building in the rural areas. That'll cost the county a lot of income and hurt a lot of property owners. So I really urge that you take and have staff take a really good look at that, analyze the holes in that proposed law, the things that are unresolved, that are unexplained, or the details that they haven't outlined yet for public comment, or the timelines to get things resolved. If they have to change the, the law after they pass it, you're looking at a minimum of one year before they will change anything in that law. It takes that long to go through the cycles. They have to go through the whole procedure that they go through like they are right now. The other thing is they'll have nobody assigned to it. They didn't, haven't made any commitments to have <coughs> staff assigned to process application, which is a whole new process for DOE. The whole thing is really, you know, a shot in the dark by those people of trying to get something in because they have to do it. It's really badly planned, badly written, badly justified law. And I think you really should take a hard look at it and express your concerns to DOE because right now they're in the process of formulating what they want to propose for the law. Once they formulate it, it's going to be cast in concrete. And they're probably going to run it through. And it's really going to hurt this county financially. It'll hurt the landowners. And it'll go be propagated on to other counties. They're using us as the point to start to roll this thing out through the state. We need to do it right. Thank you.